Once you've finished your dots on your pumpkin, we are now going to look at the background. And with this, um, we need to make sure all our dots are done. We can finish. You just want to color this in your stem. You can do that. You can do a pattern if you want, whatever you choose it is totally fine. And I'm going to leave that up to you however you want to do your stems. So, um, so for our background, we want to create some interest and we kind of want to keep with the expanding um, idea that Kusama has in her art. So what I've done is created this geometric pattern and filled in between to create all this matrix type of a design. The easy way to do it is just with a ruler and marking all these lines like so. And you can do that. Another thing you can do is with your ruler, you could, if you want a table, you're welcome to put split, split the background into a, like a wall and a table. So I might do that and draw just a horizontal line. So there's my horizontal line. Um, I'm going to be using this wax china marker. And the reason we're doing that is because we're gonna fill in the background with watercolor, but this china marker will resist the watercolor because it's wax. So placing my ruler, I'm going to just start a series of lines, pressing hard, oops. Again, if you, um, break your tip, you just pull the string just a little bit and you can unpeel your china marker. I go slowly so it gives me just enough of a tip, like so. Okay, so starting again, I'm gonna press hard and you're not gonna see it because it's white on white. So again, this is all I'm doing is this pattern, but again, you can't see it. So, and it doesn't matter which way you put your, your ruler, but make sure you're not going over your drawing that you did. So I stop at the pumpkin and I hop over. I can see because I'm close. Again, pressing hard. There's no right or wrong, because we're just filling up the background. We're creating a little bit of interest rather than just having it be a solid color. And it's always fun to put in something interesting, even though it is the background. And I'm at a certain point, I'm just trying to break up all this space. So if there's a big opening, I can fill it up with lines. However you want. So there you go. You can't, again, you can't really see what I did, but there's plenty of lines coming through here. Okay, so there we go. Done with our lines. So after you've lined your background, you can do a second pattern for your table, but you're gonna use just one watercolor and you're gonna go over your background, just one nice coat and you'll see how the colors resisting the lines that we drew in. So I'm using a fun chartreuse. 
like a bright lime color. And again, you go around your pumpkin. And you'll see how your lines just appear. Again, it's the water and wax resisting each other, or the wax resisting the water. And again, just one nice coat of watercolor. So you can see there. And then we'll do the background and then your piece will be finished. For your table, your other part, you can do a separate pattern. Again, there's millions of different patterns you can do. And again, you're gonna pick a separate color that you haven't used yet. Great.